All right, good morning. So I screwed up the other day. Let me show you where I screwed up. Sorry about that, I should have told you before you loaded it. So I'm putting a new shed up over here, like a pole barn or whatever you call it. You can see where I built this up right here. And there was an existing carport style shed over here. Well, we moved it over here to the side. Well, me not being diligent, I just didn't put the anchors in the ground and figured I'd do it later. Well, the wind got really, really heavy the other day. And let me show you what happened. It just flipped that joker right on over. It was covering all this material right here. And it just said, whoo, boom, flipped it right over. So now we got to flip it back over and try and get it reset up. And I'm going to definitely put the anchors in this time. We've got two vent tracks. If we flip it this way, it's going to bend. If we flip it long ways, it's going to be it's, harder, but it won't bend. It'll be a lot harder, but it's, I mean, it won't bend, but it, it will be harder to flip it. Yeah. Um, but we can also put the tractor under one end and pick one end up and get it started. And then let the vent tracks just pull it on over and just hope it don't blow up when it lands. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get it off this first. Alright, now that I got it off of that spout, we're going to hook the vent tracks to it and see if we can't get it out here in the open. Well, hey, what we want to do is we want to try to swing it out like this and get it out in the driveway and then we're going to pull it out here in the open with the vent tracks and see if we can't flip it. I mean, has, has anybody got a better idea? I don't know, I, I can't. If I had a helicopter now, I'd be right, but I ain't got one. Actually, working better than I thought it was going to. Now unhook him. Back that one up and we'll hook to that end and we can pull it straight on out. Hey, go go move, uh, uh, that's Jacob's truck. Go move Jacob's spray truck. Pull it over there beside yours. I'm gonna pick this end up with a tractor and get it up. We'll go ahead and hook these to these ends. I don't think you'll never get it high enough. And then the pick it up with the tractor high. and then pull it that way. I don't think the tractor go that high. What, mine? Yeah, of course it will. It'll lift, it'll lift it. It'll lift I, up the length of it. I can almost flip it over with a tractor. But I don't wanna take a chance on it coming back on my tractor. Well, I don't think it's gonna work, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm a little unconfident with this one. Hey, why we'll go get one of them spikes. They're laying right there on that desk and then get the, the sledgehammer from in there and we'll drive one of them in there. Yeah, that's probably all it'll take. Whose freaking idea was this? You hit the head. Yeah, I know. I need to get a little closer. Ah, it's my foot! Is that wind blowing it? Yeah. Oh crap, this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> there she finally is some dirt. Yeah, it's in dirt now. Put it in high gear. Yeah, put it in high gear. Because when you when you when it starts going. 
going, you need to go. You know what I'm saying? You in second gear, high gear. Yeah, it's high gear. So when it, when it starts to topple this way, y'all need to go. When it, when it kind of gets to that tipping point, you need to go and pull it. Expecting that to work out well. Holy cow! You didn't think we'd have done that more than once. I had no clue it was going to work that good. That bell and you helping that really done the trick. If we'll find you, we'll find the John Deere wouldn't have went like that. No, yeah, you had to pick it up on one end. Let me stick your forks up under here and we can get these ropes off. It looked like he won the basketball. I do. I, that was, I was like, heck yeah, fall right. Jacob, run around back and put something on the front of the vent track. Hook up to the bucket. And just, you ain't got to hook the hydraulics up or nothing. Just hook, just make sure the arm attach. Just something to push it with. Once you get through that rock and it hits that dirt, it'll take off in. Yes. <coughs> Wayne, your turn, boy. Uh, he got the soft spot. Oh, look at that crap, man. He got the easy one. I know. You just make it look easy, I know that's right. Jacob, grab him other uh, anchors on that desk, please. I'll put them in. Yeah. And then I thought, dang, they're gonna run out of rope. The strap was gonna be too long, and you weren't. Gonna, I thought you weren't gonna be able to go further and hit the building. Oh, yeah. And then we'd really been screwed in. Sitting up on it. Yeah, he'd be sitting up there and you can't pull it. That's what I was thinking. But either way, that worked that wonderful. That worked that great. All right. Good day. Thank you.
You know, we're just like probably any other small business around the country that, you know, in the past 20 years, we've went through quite a few employees. You know, our turnover rate, uh, I'm not gonna say our turn turnover rate is bad, but it's probably not optimal uh, like any other small business. It's just it's really difficult to find good, solid, dependable, trustworthy, integrity field people to work that I trust to go out with a $40,000 machine. You know, to be able to trust another human being to go out and take care of your stuff, do the job correctly and all that, it takes integrity, trust, uh, competence. It takes all those big words <clears throat> that you find in human beings uh, to be able to hire an employee so they go out and do the job and they come back every day and they're repetitive. They do that over and over and over and over. I say all that to say the group of guys I got right now, current time, probably is the best group of guys I've ever had in 20 years. They are just that group. They, they, yeah, they have problems between each other every now and then, and we work that out and we talk that out. But at the end of the day, they're all fantastic people, fantastic men, and they do an exceptional job. And this right here was just a little example. Uh, you know, we had fun in kind of a, I don't call it a crucial situation, but um, a touch stressful situation. I didn't want to tear this thing up. I paid like $1,500 for it or something 10 years ago. <laughs> I've had it for a while, but I, I want to use it. And that, that teamwork and that teamwork and that effort we just put into it and kind of talking through, you know, what's the best way to do it and all that. And, and it worked. I can't believe the thing flipped over. I mean, per, to perfection it flipped over and landed just as it should. My, my concern was it was gonna hit and this leg was gonna, was gonna blow out out from under it and then the thing cave. But thank you, Lord, it, it didn't. So there you go. That's our, uh, that's our excitement on a Friday morning and we're ready for the weekend. Uh, guys are going out, uh, spray crews are going to do their, their spray yards and uh, on their routes and then the mowing crews are going out to do the maintenance and we'll, uh, I'll try to do some more videos here on the Pro Channel and, and show some of the things that we do around here. Not only the cool, stressful, weird stuff like this right here, but we'll actually go out in the field and watch the guys work and talk you through some of that stuff. So appreciate you watching, check your left.